We're at a location in South Wales. Um, a beautiful scenery behind That's us. Lovely. But what we're talking about is it's pretty um, a pretty dark subject. So just tell us a little bit about um, what you've been doing since October 2017, since you retired, and, and what your message is really to the people following you. And what I would say is I'd really encourage you to listen to this interview and testimony and share it. I'm trying to raise my profile and get my voice heard. Um, I exposed the child abuse cover-ups and was then subjected to a, a sustained and ongoing campaign by the Metropolitan Police to silence me. But now I'm retired, um, I've got the, the liberty to speak uh, with freedom now. I mean, I'm always um, cautious of what I can and can't say because I have been um, advised on the law regarding contemptuous behaviour, which um, a lot of whistleblowers do uh, become victim the pitfalls to that. However, I'm now getting together other police whistleblowers, um, getting politicians as well together to assist in getting the protection we duly deserve. And the ultimate goal is to get uh, justice for victims and survivors of child abuse. And if the police are silenced, then these poor people never ever stand a chance. And it's been an uphill struggle because for some reason, the national media have been very reluctant to engage with me and uh, I'm sort of scratching my head as to why that is. So I've relied really on um, people in the know and the alternative media in order to get my, uh, my message out there. What I would say is, is you're not alone, John. I mean, I've been talking to Lenny Harper. He was the Deputy Chief of Police in the States of Jersey in 2007, 2008. I worked with him, uh, a guy I hugely respect. Mike Veal, who was Head of Wiltshire Police, who uncovered that Ted Heath yeah. would have been brought in for questioning in relation to child um, paedophilia. Um, there are other police whistleblowers. Tell us about those other police whistleblowers and how you can maybe work together. Because like you say, the mainstream media often don't touch it when it's the testimony of one man. But when you get together as a group, things are, things are quite different. Well, well I've, I've got a two-pronged attack because as well as meeting with the other brave whistleblowers, I've also been linking in with the victims and survivors of abuse and people that campaign tirelessly on their behalf. Um, and Lenny Harper is an incredibly brave man and I've been up to uh, meet Lenny. Uh, Mike Ville, I am in contact on the phone with Mike quite a lot. And Mike even approached me once and uh, he had a concerned um, discussion with me and he was just asking what he was expected to endure when he gets the story out there. And what I had, said, I had to say to him, Mike, is that they will come for you. They'll come for you like they come for all of us. Um, but also from the victims and survivors, the, the response has been absolutely overwhelming. And I'd like to give a big thank out to all those campaigners, um, really, namely uh, Bill Maloney, Pyramash Films, and the UK Column, and Lou Collins, who are really, really pushing the plight of victims and survivors. So God bless them. As an ex-BBC ITV journalist, what I would say, John, is that you're talking about the alternative media getting behind you, but a lot of people kind of rubbish them and saying they're conspiracy theorists. I completely disagree with that. There's a, it comes down to what's true and what's false. It comes down to believing in people like yourself, like Lenny Harper, like Mark Veal, senior police officers you work for Scotland Yard. You have come forward to say there's an establishment cover-up. There are people who are too scared to come forward. You've yeah. got to understand, if they've been through... ...spoke out whilst we were still in post. And financially, I was very unstable. I was a single parent of four children. And the threats were very personal to me. These threats were made by a very senior officer at this point I cannot name. Um, but what was said to me for exposing the prostitution of children as young as 9 to 14 years old, all of which was subject to care orders, so we're talking very young, very vulnerable kids, was that if I mention anything, I will lose, not should lose or could lose, I will lose my home, my children and my job. So this just goes to show the mark of these people that are protecting the paedophiles and the question has to be asked, why? Um, and we also got to look at how this affects the victims and survivors and the detriment to society that it causes. I mean, there is no way that I can see how they are going to justify this at all. We've got some comments here, and I think it's important to respond to them. They're, people are saying the media won't report it. Um, one, we're asking you to share this broadcast, okay? 
Um, why won't the media report it? I'm an ex-BBC ITV journalist. I worked in the newsroom and I know how it works. We only take information that comes from the official channels because we have to trust something. There's some great, great journalists out there working in the mainstream media. They're not, I'm not saying they're all corrupt by any means and I'm going to be doing everything I can to campaign um, on your behalf to these mainstream organisations. So it's, it comes away from being an alternative. But people do have... Well, power here don't they we've got social media we're doing this as a live broadcast on john's phone you have power and you can spread this message we, we've got two strands of information firstly you're coming in from the police the police must be allowed to speak out over this and these senior officers that are covering this i make a personal appeal to you stop doing that this is going to come and bite you and this isn't a threat this is what's happening the people have had enough of our children being hung out to dry and attacked in such a vicious and vile manner. And the other strand of information is coming from the victims and survivors themselves. And what we keep seeing is that they are being demonized a lot by the mainstream media and the institutions because a lot of the people that have endured this sort of behavior have gone on to suffer mentally. 90% of all adult mental health referrals come from child traumatic backgrounds. And if people then are not given the help, then they will self-medicate, they will become alcoholics, they will take heroin, and they will go to crime to support these habits. And they are then discredited by our legal system. So the moment they do feel brave enough and they feel strong enough to come and speak out against this, straight away, the legal system attacks them. And as does the media, and we have seen this on a couple of very high profile cases recently. Now, John's travelled to, to South Wales today to talk to me. I think it's important that you get funding to help this, basically just to cover your expenses to, to continue spreading this message. So how can people donate? Right. Um, I'm conducting a, uh, a charity event in the end of the summer. Um, I, I did one earlier this year. I walked from London to Manchester along the canals with my dog to raise awareness of the... Uh, plight of police whistleblowers and for victims and survivors of abuse and the public response was phenomenal and I did raise a good few pennies for um, a charity that helps victims and survivors. Uh, at the end of the summer I'm going to be cycling an old bike that, that was dumped in a river which I've uh, maintained and I'm going to be cycling from London to Cornwall and then I will be swimming around the Isles of Scilly which is a fair few miles. Now, um, I'm trying to raise £10,000. I'm on 2500 So if there are any donors that, that really would like to, to fund something which is a real worthwhile cause, then please go to GoFundMe, put in John Wedger, J-O-N Wedger, and it will guide you through how to donate from there. You're a genuine man. Thank you very much for coming down and talking to me. We're going to be doing a little bit more um, on social media. I think it's important that we do broadcast to every possible channel that we can. We've all got the power now within social media. That's what I really encourage people to do, is to do live broadcasts, talk about your story, get involved. There's something we can do. There's something we can all do. Anyone who's got children, um, for me to imagine that for whatever reason my children ended up in care, this could happen to them. There's no one else looking out for them. Um, we have a duty as decent human beings to do something. Of course we have. And, and if I could put out a wider appeal for anyone that really wants to speak out, you can get in touch with me via Facebook. And also if there are professionals out there, professionals in the mental health institutions, professionals in the, in the legal profession that want to offer their services and their expertise to help these victims and help myself. And let's get a lot of these cases that have been thrown away. Let's get them reviewed. Let's Let's not put pressure on but let's hold our chief constables accountable because they are the final arbiters here and they are shutting a lot of these cases down and let's ask why and also MPs get on to your MP and make your MP get onto the policing and crime minister and the home secretary and demand openness in this and demand justice for the victims of, of, and survivors of abuse and for the likes of myself and all the other brave whistleblowers to be protected and I can't do it alone. I really need your help. He does. And what I would say now is we we would ask you to share this post. So we're going to go now. We're going to go over to um, John's on Twitter. He's got his official account. So please do follow him on Twitter as well. It's at Wedger underscore John. There's a few different accounts, but that's the official account. Wedger underscore John. Uh, anything else you'd like to add? No, I've seen some of the comments of people I know. So thank you to everyone. Please share. Yeah. We can make a difference. We you really know. can if we share this broadcast. God bless you all. And thank you so much. God bless you all.